Uh, you know, it can't make peace. I mean, uh, let's be realistic here. It's because they're putting woke ideology it's over. And once you're exposed out there, as in it can't take this shit anymore. Sylvester Stallone, a name synonymous with the rough and tumble grit of classic American action cinema, has recently made waves not just for his enduring presence on screen, but for his outspoken critiques of woke culture and modern Hollywood. This critique is not merely a passing comment from the sidelines, but a passionate dissection of what he perceives as the industry's departure from its roots and its implications for both artists and audiences. Stallone's career spans several decades, marked by iconic roles such as Rocky Balboa in the Rocky series and John Rambo in the Rambo films. These characters, emblematic of resilience, strength, and individualism, have left an indelible mark on popular culture. However, Stallone's recent comments suggest a deep discontent with the current trajectory of the entertainment industry, which he believes has become overly politicized and disconnected from the values that once made it great. In various interviews and public statements, Stallone has expressed his frustration with what he describes as the stifling nature of woke culture. This term, which originally emerged as a call to awareness and activism against social injustices, has, in Stallone's view, morphed into an oppressive force within Hollywood. He argues that the industry's embrace of wokeness has led to a climate of fear and conformity, where artists are pressured to adhere to a narrow set of ideological norms or risk ostracism. Stallone's critiques are not without basis. He points to a growing trend in Hollywood, where content is increasingly scrutinized for its adherence to contemporary social mores, often at the expense of artistic freedom and narrative integrity. This shift, he contends, has resulted in a homogenization of entertainment, where stories are sanitized and characters are crafted to fit predetermined social agendas rather than to explore the complexities of the human experience. One of Stallone's primary concerns is the impact of woke culture on character development and storytelling. In his view, the industry's preoccupation with political correctness has led to the creation of one-dimensional characters that lack the depth and authenticity of those from earlier eras. He cites the enduring popularity of his own characters, Rocky and Rambo, as evidence of audiences' enduring appetite for flawed, multifaceted protagonists who grapple with real-world challenges. Rocky Balboa, for instance, is not a conventional hero. He is an underdog, a man of modest means and limited education who rises to greatness through sheer willpower and determination. His story resonates because it is grounded in the reality of struggle and perseverance. Similarly, John Rambo is a deeply troubled Vietnam War veteran whose violent escapades are a manifestation of his inner turmoil and alienation. These characters are compelling not because they fit neatly into a moral framework, but because they reflect the messiness and contradictions of real life. Stallone argues that in today's Hollywood, such characters would be deemed problematic or inappropriate. The industry, he asserts, is more concerned with avoiding controversy and appeasing vocal minority groups than with telling compelling, authentic stories. This, he believes, has led to a decline in the quality of mainstream entertainment, as filmmakers and writers are forced to navigate an increasingly restrictive landscape. Another aspect of Stallone's critique is the effect of woke culture on the creative process itself. He describes an environment where artists must constantly self-censor and second-guess their choices to avoid backlash. This atmosphere of fear, he argues, stifles innovation and discourages risk-taking, both of which are essential for artistic growth and cultural evolution. Stallone himself has faced criticism for some of his past work, but he remains unapologetic, arguing that art should challenge, provoke, and sometimes even offend. Stallone's discontent extends beyond the confines of Hollywood to the broader societal implications of woke culture. He laments what he sees as a growing intolerance for differing viewpoints and a tendency to vilify those who dissent from the prevailing orthodoxy. This, he believes, is antithetical to the principles of free speech and open debate that underpin a healthy democracy. By promoting a culture of conformity and censorship, he warns, we risk stifling the very creativity and diversity of thought that drive progress. In his critique, Stallone is not merely bemoaning the state of the industry, but calling for a return to its foundational values. He advocates for a Hollywood that embraces artistic freedom, values storytelling over social signaling, and respects the intelligence of its audience. 
This, he believes, is the path to restoring the industry's vitality and relevance in an ever-changing cultural landscape. Stallone's comments have resonated with many who share his concerns about the direction of Hollywood and woke culture. His critique has sparked a broader conversation about the role of art in society and the importance of preserving creative freedom. In an age where cultural battles often play out in the public arena, Stallone's voice adds a powerful and influential perspective to the debate. However, not everyone agrees with Stallone's assessment. Critics argue that his views represent a nostalgic longing for a bygone era and fail to acknowledge the positive strides made toward greater representation and inclusivity in Hollywood. They contend that the industry's evolution reflects a broader societal shift toward recognizing and addressing historical injustices and that these changes are necessary and overdue. Despite these differing viewpoints, Stallone's critique underscores a fundamental tension within the entertainment industry. On one hand, there is a desire to create content that reflects contemporary social values and promotes inclusivity. On the other hand, there is a need to preserve the integrity of storytelling and ensure that artists have the freedom to explore complex, sometimes uncomfortable themes. Stallone's views on the current state of Hollywood are reflective of a broader cultural discontent that has been simmering for years. Many feel that the entertainment industry has become a battleground for ideological conflicts, where the focus on messaging often overshadows the artistry and craft that once defined it. This shift, according to Stallone, has led to a dilution of the storytelling magic that captivated audiences for generations. Stallone's perspective is deeply rooted in his own experiences as an actor, writer, and filmmaker. He has witnessed firsthand the evolution of Hollywood from its golden age through the gritty realism of the 1970s and 80s to the blockbuster-driven 90s and beyond. This unique vantage point gives weight to his criticisms as he contrasts the industry's past willingness to take risks and tackle controversial subjects with today's more cautious and formulaic approach. One of the key elements Stallone highlights is the transformation of audience expectations. He argues that audiences crave authenticity and complexity in their stories, elements that are often sacrificed in the pursuit of political correctness. The characters that Stallone has portrayed and created are deeply flawed, embodying both heroism and vulnerability. These multidimensional figures resonate because they mirror the complexity of human nature, something Stallone believes is increasingly missing from modern cinema. Moreover, Stallone is critical of what he sees as the industry's growing obsession with box office performance and franchise building at the expense of originality. He laments that many studios now prioritize safe bets over bold, innovative projects, resulting in a landscape dominated by sequels, reboots, and adaptations. This commercial focus, he contends, further limits the scope for creative experimentation and the exploration of diverse narratives. Stallone also addresses the role of social media in shaping contemporary Hollywood. Platforms like Twitter and Instagram have become powerful tools for promoting films and engaging with fans, but they have also amplified the voices of critics and activists. Stallone points out that the fear of backlash on social media can lead to preemptive self-censorship, with creators avoiding topics or themes that might provoke controversy. This, he argues, creates a chilling effect on artistic expression and limits the kinds of stories that get told. This tension is not easily resolved, but Stallone's intervention highlights the importance of finding a balance. As he continues to speak out, he challenges both the industry and society to reflect on the true purpose of art and the role it plays in our lives. Whether one agrees with his critique or not, it is clear that Stallone's passion for storytelling and his commitment to artistic integrity remain as strong as ever. In conclusion, Sylvester Stallone's critique of woke culture and Hollywood is a powerful and provocative call to action. He urges the industry to return to its roots, to prioritize storytelling and character development over social signaling, and to embrace the diversity of thought and expression that makes art so vital. As Hollywood navigates these challenging times, Stallone's voice serves as a reminder of the enduring values that have shaped the industry and the importance of preserving them for future generations. Thank you for sticking with me all the way to the end. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure the notification bell is turned on so you don't miss a video. See you later.